Hello, this is God of Tomatoes, and today I'm going to be giving a guide on the Pawn and Bishop in CEO as of version .54. When you first load up the game, you will receive 8 pawns and 2 bishops, however, you can always gain more. The first way to gain more pawns and bishops is to buy boxes. They can both be found in the basic, premium, and ultra boxes. Since they are both common units though, you have the highest chance of receiving them in the basic box. If you are looking to buy them en masse though, or you are simply aiming to get a higher tier version of them, then it's much faster to buy them in the market. As common units, they start at a price of only 1 ruby per copy in the market, but as more are bought, their price will increase. Each tier of pawn and bishop is unique and carries with it a different strategy. However, most of the tiers are similar enough that they can fit the same general purposes. The base tier of pawn costs zero value, however it can only attack what is diagonally in front of it, or move forward one space, two if it hasn't moved yet. The second tier of pawn costs 1 value, and it gains an additional mobility forwards. The third tier of pawn costs 2 value, and once again gains forward mobility. The fourth and final tier of pawn costs 3 value, and gains 2 extra squares of mobility, allowing it to promote in one turn from anywhere on the minion line. When a pawn reaches the enemy's champion line, otherwise known as the final row, they promote into a bishop of the same tier. The base tier of bishop costs 10 value, and it can move or attack anywhere diagonal to it. The second tier of bishop costs 12 value, and it gains the ability to move to any adjacent square. The third tier of bishop costs 13 value, and it gains an additional 2 movement squares in each direction. The fourth and final tier of bishop costs 14 value, and it gains the ability to teleport in an elongated L-shaped pattern, 3 spaces across, 1 space away. The pawns can be separated into two different categories, Quick Promoters and Defenders. I will discuss these terms more thoroughly in the strategy part. The Base Pawn and Pawn Plus are Defenders, as they have low mobility. Pawn Double Plus and Pawn Triple Plus, however, are Quick Promoters, as they are agile but do not have much attack power for their cost. Bishops can be separated into two different categories as well, Pins and Rushers. I will explain these terms more thoroughly in the strategy part of the video. The base bishop is a rusher, and all the other bishop tiers are pins. However, they still differ in effectivity. Pawns and bishops are units from classical chess, however, their origins date much further back. Pawn is a word that dates as far back as early Latin roots. Originally, in chess, pawns were simply known as foot soldiers for the various languages the Latin term for this being peronym, during the medieval times when chess was popularized in southern Europe. Peronym stems from the Latin root pes or ped, meaning foot or related to feet. Pawns were called as such as they fight on foot, hence their classically low mobility compared to the classic chess units. In France and Spain, the variant of peronym that became popularized to describe foot soldiers was peon. Peon later came to refer to most of those who were not nobility, as they often fought on the front lines and were sacrificed in wars. This likely is one of the largest influences on how pawns are viewed in chess, and the development of the English word pawn to describe something of low value. Bishop is a term meaning high priest, most often related to Christian and Jewish religions. It originates from the Greek term episkopos, which can be broken down into the roots epi and skopos. Epi means over, and skopos means one that watches. Together, as episkopos, they mean one who watches over, or a guardian of sorts. It was originally used as a term for a government official, however in Latin when it was changed to episcopus, with the rise of Christianity and Judaism, it took on a meaning more similar to a church official as they were the guardians appointed by their deities to rule over the people. This was during the time when European politics became heavily related in church matters, such as the Pope of Rome. In France and England, this was further developed in two varying ways, causing for a slight change in the meaning. England's word bishop derived from piscope replacing the P with a B and changing the consonants from a SK sound to a SH 
sound. Avec, on the other hand, derives from epi and spec, which is a root meaning to observe. The p being replaced with a v and spe being changed to ke. The key difference in this is that avec relates more closely to one who observes over, such as an official, whereas bishop took on the more clergy-related name, being most similar to the word guardian, as someone who protects others. This is most likely why bishops in classical chess are color-bound and have high compatibility with a pawn's defense system, as they guard their color and the foot soldiers surrounding them. Pawns are cheap and relatively weak on their own, however, there are quite a number of pieces they can counter when together. By combining multiple pawns together to form a defense system, a player can easily counter the following. Bishops Arachnids Spiders Medusas Moon Foxes Frost Methods Reavers Snakes Gnomes and Void Mages. Bishops, unlike pawns, do not hard counter any units, meaning although they are powerful and can be traded for a variety of units in the midst of battle, they are not designed in such a way that they will always beat a certain unit. Nonetheless, bishops can still outcompete other color-bound units, as they have the most range for their cost. Besides this though, bishops' main attribute relies in their strategy. Just as there are many units the pawn can counter though, there are numerous units which can counter pawns, the majority of which are magic or ranged units, although defender pawns are also fatally weak to triggers, as it can break their defense systems without wasting a turn. The following are units which can counter pawns. Pyromancer Dryad Spider Archer Ranger Alchemist Salamander Fire Mage Necromancer Fire Elemental Arachnid Lilith Samurai Sylph Air Elemental and Lust Although Bishop has no units it hard counters, it also has only one unit which can hard counter it, making it generally a safe piece to use since you won't need to focus on protecting against counters. The only piece which hard counters Bishop, which you might have already guessed based on earlier in the video, is Pawn. Now it's finally time to talk about Pawn strategies. When using Pawns, there are two different key strategy focuses you will use depending on whether you use a Defender Pawn or a Quick Promoter Pawn. To determine which is which, refer to the tier descriptions earlier in the video. A defender pawn means it focuses on creating an interlaced defense via multiple pawns. This strategy requires at least two pawns, but generally works best with three to five pawns. 
Quick promoters, on the other hand, focus on having a solo pawn in order to quickly promote it into a bishop in the case that a line in the opponent's defense opens. As you saw earlier when I covered the counters a pawn can perform, defender pawns are the type which counter colorbound units. To make the system by which defender pawn can thrive, you move a series of pawns forward, offsetting them by a single space, causing their attack squares to focus on one another so that the opponent can only defeat them via magic, ranged, and triggers, or by defeating the first pawn in the series, i.e. the pawn closest to your side of the board. Quick promoter pawns, on the other hand, should not be wasted on offense, as they have a high cost value. Quick promoter pawns typically work best on the edges of the board, and being that they can promote in one to two turns, they can change the tide of the battle mid or late game. And now for bishop strategies. Bishops, likewise to pawns, can be split into two categories of use, rushers and pins. To determine which bishops fall under which categories, once again, refer to the tier descriptions part of the video. Rushers are cheaper and are used to immediately attack the enemy, either on the first turn or soon after. Pins, on the other hand, have good mobility and are best used for pinning one enemy to another, forcing the opposing player to be unable to move certain pieces, lest they face the consequences. Rusher bishops work best by utilizing both corners of the board. To fully utilize this strategy, you should use either a ghost, phantasm, pawn, or fireball in front of the bishop. The first of the two will allow the bishop to pass through them, enabling an attack on turn one. The latter being that a quick promoter pawn or a fireball triple plus could attack the enemy minion line, forcing them to decide on whether to block the bishop or the minion. To enhance this strategy, on the opposite corner, you should use a Vampire Triple Plus, Rook, Air Elemental Triple Plus, Siren, or Harpy Double Plus, as they can protect the Bishop after it attacks opposing units. For this purpose, Siren and Harpy are especially efficient, as the Siren can pull away the enemy's minion, allowing the Bishop to directly attack the champion line, and the Harpy can use Wind to push the unit out of the way, allowing the Bishop to attack and mobilizing an offensive minion at the same time. Pin Bishops, on the other hand, focus on the idea that an offensive unit is blocking the Bishop's path to a valuable unit, such as the King. As can be seen in the example footage with the angel being in front of the king. The purpose of this is to make the opponent unable to move that offensive unit without endangering their valuable unit, i.e. the opponent can't move their angel, otherwise the bishop would take the king. This strategy works well to force an opponent's move so that you can either trade bishop for the offensive unit, i.e. they lose angel whereas you only lose bishop, or so you can keep them from moving that offensive unit in order to strengthen your own defense. Also, bishops can be used in combination with other colorbound units, such as Moonfox, Arachnid, Medusa, or even another bishop, as you can have them defend the different colors so an enemy will not be able to escape. 